welcome back to our last video about money. In this video, we're learning how to make change. So sometimes when we pay in cash in a store, we will give them too much. So it's easier to pay with bills, usually for paying with cash. So the cashier in the store has to give you some money back because you paid too much. It's a really important life skill to learn as you grow up as well. So make sure that when you do pay for things in the store, you're not paying too much and that you can double check this in your head to make sure you got the correct change back. We're going to look at two examples. The first one, an item you want to buy costs $9.35. You paid with a $10 bill. We want to know what our change is. There's two ways we're going to do this. As usual, I love a number line, so that's one way we're going to do that, and that's the approach that a lot of adults will use in their head when they're in a store. Instead of pulling out their phone or a calculator, they'll do this quickly in their head. The second way, we're going to use subtraction and stacking to double check our work. So to start us off, let's put these numbers on our number line. We have $9.35 over there, and we're going to add up to get to $10. I'm gonna add nice small coins and benchmarks to help me out. So to start me off, I'm gonna go from $9.35, I'm gonna to to get to a round number. So I'm going to add five cents, and that gets me to $9.40. Now I need to keep adding until I get to 10, I'm not there yet. So let's add 10 cents, $9.40 cents plus 10 more cents, you can count on your fingers if you'd like, gets us to $9.50. Some of you may already see where I'm going with that, that's great. I'm gonna break it down to smaller chunks right now though. Let's add 20 cents because I'm not there yet. So what's 50 plus 20 again? We knew that already. $9.70. Not quite there, but I'm getting really close. Gonna add another one. 20 cents. That gets me to $9.90. Oh, I'm really close now. Looks like I'm only 10 cents away. So I'm gonna add one more 10 cents. Now I'm done. I made it to $10. The step I do now is I take all of these numbers here and I'm going to add them up because all of those numbers, those little bounces that I had to make, that's the change. So now I have to total it. So I go, let's work backwards. 10 cents plus 20 cents plus 20 cents plus another 10 cents and a five cents. What's that equal? 10 plus 20 is 30, plus 20 is 50, plus 10 is 60, plus five gets me 65 cents. Let's double check it. Let's make sure we're correct. Let's go back to our original numbers. $10 take away 9.35. Line up those decimals. This is where it gets tricky because I can't subtract from zeros, can I? So I'm gonna cross them all off and I'm gonna borrow all the way over. So this over here is gonna become a nine. This zero becomes a nine and I'm gonna give a little extra one in here. So that's now 10 take away five, which is five. 9 take away 3 is 6. Bring them to the decimal. And 9 take away 9 is 0. And look at that. I have 65 cents. Do they match? Yes, they do. I discovered the change. So from $10, we got 65 cents back. Okay, our second example for making change this time our item costs $33.75, and 
and I paid with two $20 bills. I need to stop right there. I don't know how much I paid with in total. Let's find that out first. Two $20 bills. It's 20 plus 20 gives me how much in total? $40. Great. Now I know how much I paid. Now I can plop in the numbers on my number line. The lower number goes over here. $33.75 and my total that I have to add up to $40 goes over there. Okay, 75 cents is a great number. It's one of those quarters, okay? 25, 50, 75, 100. That rhythm that we know from before, we counted money. So I know right away, I'm going to add 25 cents for sure. When I add 25 cents to 75, it's going to bring me up to a next dollar. I'm rounding up. It's not going to round to $33 because that's going backwards. We're going forwards. The next dollar after 33 is $34. Now right here, I could do one big jump to 40 if I wanted to, and that's great. But I think I'm gonna break it down a little bit more. I think I'm going to start by adding four dollars to it. Thirty-four plus four dollars gives me thirty-eight dollars. I'm really close now, almost there. One more jump will do it. I'm going to add two dollars. Thirty-eight plus two gives me forty. I made it there. Great. I'm not done though. I don't know my change yet. I have to total up what I added on those jumps. So I'm going to add up these guys. So $2 plus $4 plus my little 25 cents. 2 plus 4 is $6 plus my little 25 cents. Let's double check using our stacking. Back to our original numbers. $40. Take away $33.75. Once again, though, zero cannot take away five. I got to borrow all the way across. Let's cross off all these guys. So the four is going to become a little three. That zero is going backwards, or think of it as a 10 going backwards, becomes a nine. This zero becomes a nine, and we're going to throw in the one that we're borrowing right in there. So 10 take away five is five. Nine take away seven is two. Nine take away three is six. Three, take away three is zero. We don't need that one. Bring down your dollar sign and bring down the decimal that we lined up. So does this $6.25 match that $6.25? Yes, it does. We found our change. Remember, this is a life skill, something that you're going to want to learn as you get older, the more you start making purchases in the stores with cash. You wanna make sure that you are getting the correct change, that you don't overpay and not get the right change back. So either you do a number line in your head and you add up the amounts and total them in your head, that's great mental math skill, or you pull out your calculator and your phone and you subtract using those numbers there too. Two options to learn how to make change. Hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.